there! I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I can't wait to share this information with you. I would say it's a long-awaited video, but it was only three weeks ago that I did my first video about the Sudden Change product and how it really helps on under eye wrinkles, and I'll link that video below because it is pretty amazing. But in that video, I read from this box and on the box it says basically that you can use this instantly to reduce your crow's feet. And I have it on now and I think it really does soften crow's feet. I really like it for that a lot. I call them my Marlboro Mans and I seem to always have them. But anyway, it works temporarily, like for the whole day really, I've been finding. I've been wearing it for the last two and a half weeks. But the box also said that if you wear it for two weeks, that it can have permanent results on softening your fine lines around your eyes. Well, I'm going to show you in this video my results using this product for two weeks, and I won't tell you yet, I'll let it be a secret. Also though, you ask, does it work on under eye bags? And it is supposed to. And in this picture on the front, of course, it's probably airbrushed, but it really does show that it works for under eye bags and the fine lines and wrinkles. But my friend Terry came over a couple of Sundays ago. In fact, my friend Terry and a new friend I have, Donna, came, and they both suffer from a little bit of an under eye bag. And so we used this product on them and they gave me their permission to show you their before and afters. And that is a problem of being a friend of mine, I guess, is that once in a while you do pop up in a YouTube video as yet another beauty guinea pig like me. But anyway, if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in all things anti-aging, and I would say for those of you who are 50 plus beauties to join my channel, to join the 50 plus beauty family. But even more than that, I've been thinking lately that if you're 30 years old out there and you're watching only YouTubers that are 25 and 30, then, you know, they all look fabulous as it is. I am sorry, but a 25 or 30 year old, they can't tell you that some under eye wrinkle cream really does work because they almost have no wrinkles naturally. But I would maybe add my channel to your list if you're 25 or 30, because us mature beauty YouTubers can really share, you know, what we've done over the years to still look decent. I am 63 years old. So what I'm doing, you know, I think is working fairly well for the most part. But anyway, I would love to have you subscribe to my channel and or give me a thumbs up because that would help this video do better and reach more women, which is wonderful. Okay, let me get into this. But before I do, let me do a little housekeeping here and show you a few things that I'm loving. The first is this coffee. Of course, I love the I am enough cup. Although somebody asked me on my channel, why doesn't it say I am fabulous? And I had some reason because, oh, I just wanna feel like I'm enough the way I am and not be a perfectionist, which is true. But you know, I think I'm gonna look for an I am fabulous cup. And one of the reasons I'm going to do that is not for ego, but it is for some things that I'm trying to accomplish in my life in terms of self-love and that kind of thing. And if you'll stick around till the end of my video, normally I read from these language of letting go cards by Louise, well, not by Louise Hay, by Melody Beatty. That's who those are by. But today you have asked me to share some of the things I'm doing spiritually because you know I'm about to retire in a year and I want the second half of my life to really be about a lot of spiritual things. So I'll share that information with you at the end of the video. And it has to do with why I would want an I Am Fabulous cup. But anyway, in this cup, I have one of my favorite types of Keurig coffee. This is the Gloria Jeans Coffee Raspberry Chocolate Lava. And we used to have a restaurant in Wichita that had fabulous flourless chocolate cake with raspberry sauce. And I try to avoid that for the most part now, but I do love this coffee. And if you like chocolate and raspberries, this is a fabulous one and I'll link it below. And I will tell you a little bit about the lip color that I have on because I've been getting out of the nudes somewhat. My husband doesn't really like them and I don't think they maybe look the best on me, but I'll tell you real quickly what this combo is because I don't do a lot of dedicated makeup videos, but this is the MAC lipstick in the color You Wouldn't Get It. And this is actually my second tube of this and so it is really getting worn down there. I'll put a little on, but it is beautiful. It is kind of a your lips but better color. It's a rosy pinky nude. And so if you're getting a little bored of always looking like, you know, you have white chalk on your lips, 
maybe this would be a good color for you. I saw this on the Mac lady at the counter and it was beautiful. And I said, what do you have on your lips? I love it. And she said, it's called, you wouldn't get it. And she said, a lot of people ask about it. And she said, it is kind of a universal dark nude color, really like that. And then what I do sometimes is I add a little bit of a brown to it. And this is the Flower Beauty Lipstick and Spiced Petal. Love this. It is a dupe for Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk, which is fabulous. One of my favorites of all time. But this one is like five or six dollars. But there's that. And I, again, have had multiple tubes of this. This is very good on its own or just to tone down a little bit of the color. That little bit of brown kind of helps, I would say. Now, this is one of the lip liners I've been loving lately. And it's a drugstore lip liner. It's called the Milani Understatement Lip Liner in 110 Nude Entrance. And ladies, let's not have a nude entrance except maybe in our dreams. But, you know, that wouldn't be a good thing. But anyway, it's a little tiny narrow lip liner. So if you don't want to have that big overblown look where you have a brown line around your lips, this is great. And I shouldn't do this because I'll screw it up. I shouldn't say that. That's not positive. But okay, I did okay. But sometimes I, I do this stuff in a video and then I wear some weird lip line the rest of my video. But anyway, that is how that looks. And to pump up your lips in the middle, I've been loving this Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Top. <laughs> I've been loving this Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk uh, lip gloss. I think it's called Lip Plumper. But see how it just plumps out the middle of the lips there. Absolutely a beautiful combo really do like the mix of all of those four items. Okay, next I'm going to get back into the sudden change. However, I did want to show you the top I'm wearing, which I think is very pretty. It is from Thread Up, and I've recently done kind of a top haul. Let me know if you'd like to see a video of all of those tops, but I ordered a ton of them. But I really do like this one. I like those kind of 80s colors, and I really like the motif of kind of the 80s. I think it's a newer version. It's kind of a, a retro looking top. But I got it from Thread Up. I think it was $10. If you, like me, really like designer high-end clothing, but you don't like to pay an arm and a leg for it, uh, Thread Up is wonderful. And I put a link to Thread Up below the video, and you get $10 off your first purchase. And unfortunately, it is habit forming. In fact, Donna, that you'll meet in this video, I turned her on to Thread Up, and she sent me a text, and she said she loved it. She said she got a bunch of stuff, including a Ralph Lauren dress that she said was like $8, which is an amazing buy. And she said this could be a habit. And she uh, kind of did an LOL, which is so true. It could be a habit. But anyway, okay. Now let's get into sudden change and does it work on under eye bags and does it work long term on wrinkles? And to answer that question, let me show you my before and after picture. Okay, this is my before and after picture. And these pictures were taken in exactly the same lighting. So I don't know why I look like an Oompa Loompa on the left and a big red lobster on the right. But those are my under eye wrinkles after using the product for over two weeks. And you know, my under eye wrinkles are still there. They might be softened just a tad bit. And I really don't think the product has any long-term results. One of its main active ingredients is something called albumin, which is basically egg whites. And so it basically tightens the skin while it's on there. And I don't think it does anything on a permanent basis. However, this works so well on a, on a short-term basis, like if you have a great party to go to, or like me, if I go into work, it's just kind of fun to be able to pat this on. And then in two minutes, you have no under eye wrinkles, or at least greatly reduced under eye wrinkles. And the thing I like about this is, I've tried other temporary products that are like $30 to $50. And you know, they're the small bottle just like this one is, but this one is like $8. And so to me, you know, even though it is a sudden but temporary change, I think it's worth it because it's reasonable in price. But the real question is, does this work on under eye bags? And to answer that question, I am using my friends Donna and Terry as guinea pigs. Let me take you back a couple of weeks ago and I'll show you their application of this product. This is my friend Terry, and she's gonna do two drops in her little palm there. Two. Two. That's for one eye. Yes, and you're just gonna pat it. And we're going to start and in the, oh. Yeah, and, and pat clear down here. Because you want oh, it clear down, yeah. That comes second time. And don't smile or anything like that. More and more. shall we pat it until it's dry? No. We no, just, just pat, pat it, it on and there. let it... Okay. But make sure to get, yeah, even below the bag a little bit because you want it to 
Pull okay. it tightly. Okay. Tighten up everywhere. Okay, yeah. Okay. Maybe the other side now. With you the can, same amount? Or you can get more if you want. There seems to be plenty. With the two drops, there's quite a bit. Yeah. My friend Terry is not Miss Makeup. Are you, Terry? Mm, there's no foundation. Pretty obviously. She's a natural beauty. There we go. Or just not very good at all of that. <laughs> okay. This is my friend Donna. Two drops. Perfect. She has on my favorite nail polish, too. What's that called again? Uh, Big Apple Red. Yes, I love it. Just pat. And, and down lower, too. Because you want the whole area to be... You want it to blend in. And maybe down out to the side more, too. Okay. You don't really have the crow's feet. And Donna has foundation on. When I tried this last time with foundation on, it did get a little bit plasticky looking. I don't know, it's hard to explain. But, so we'll see if it works on you. Okay, awesome, perfect. Okay, we'll wait three minutes. Okay, that was Donna and Terry applying the products. As you could tell, it's very, very easy to apply. No big deal there. We waited two to three minutes and let me show you their results. It's been three minutes. Oh, I think it looks good, Terry, but you tell me what you think. Look in the mirror. Well, of course, it's different because you're seeing it, and I didn't. What do you think? Yes. It is. You'd have to deal with this right here. Do you feel it like it looks better? It definitely is, has taken in some of that bagginess, the old thyroid bagginess. Yes. So yeah, do you feel like great. it did work? It sure feels like it right now. It look, oh, man, that does look good, Terry. Oh, my gosh. That looks really good. I can't smile. No, now you can. So, mm -hmm. so smile. Yes, but it's going it. to make lines. Watch. Okay. Well, it will slightly. But oh, I, boy. But I, I look 20 years younger. <laughs> you will, maybe five. Yeah. Okay, this is Donna. We'll see. Oh, my gosh. I think you look really good. I did take a lot of my bags out. It looks like smooth. Man. So what do you think? I like it. Well, they really appeared to like the product, but now I'll give you a couple of still pictures of them, their before and afters, to show you the results. Well, this is Donna, and in the before picture, you can tell she's got a little bit of an under eye bag there, and actually some darker discoloration there. And then in the after picture, all of that is kind of smoothed out. It really looks markedly different, and I think Donna was very pleased with that. Now, here is a picture of Terry. And you can see in the top picture, she definitely has a little bit of an under eye bag there and also some crow's feet are showing on Terry. You know, that's my problem is the crow's feet. But there she is in the after picture and everything just looks almost airbrushed. And I do not airbrush these pictures. I do no artwork on them at all. They are just right from my cell phone actually to my camera here. So I think both women were extremely pleased with the product and I think both of them have gone to Walmart and purchased it. And I'll put the link below to buy the Sudden Change product. I think it's absolutely wonderful. And if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in looking and feeling your best in your second half or when you're even younger, if you're interested in doing those things that will make you look good by the time you get here to your second half, and believe me, ladies, when I was 30, I never thought I'd be 63 years old, and it does happen. So wear your sunblock, most important thing. Okay, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day. And normally I read from these card decks of positive thinking cards, that kind of thing. But today I've decided to do something a little bit different. That is that, and I'm gonna take another swig of my coffee. I love this. And when I went to get another coffee, I turned the camera off and I realized when I was out, I did not have my wedding ring on. So I put that on. So if you saw the first of the video and thought, oh, I wonder if something's wrong with Beth and Alan, no. I just didn't put my wedding ring on. But anyway, okay, let me tell you what I've been doing lately in terms of my, I guess, spiritual growth. And that is that I really want spiritual growth in my second half. Our days are, are numbered in the second half. Again, when we're 30, we think life stretches on forever. We don't think that we need to particularly make any big changes because it just seems like life is endless. 
Well, at 63 years old, I'm starting to get the perspective that even though I hope to live a good long time, maybe 30 more years, the end is in sight. And I don't want to live my second half still with those problems I lived with during my first half. And one of the biggest problems I had really was negative self-talk, constantly kind of putting myself down, criticizing myself, that kind of thing. And I really have some big things that I want to accomplish, some things that I want to manifest in my second half. And to do that, I really need to have confidence, confidence in myself and my abilities. And I also really do believe in the power of attraction. And I don't believe it in the marketing sense that we always see it, which is, oh, think these positive affirmations, do three or four a day, or maybe 10 a day, maybe 20 a day, and then everything you want will just fall into your lap. I don't believe that. But I do believe that positive affirmations are super, super important. And I was watching a really good video this morning by Louise Hay. And for those of you who don't know Louise Hay, her books and videos are fantastic. And I'll link that video below. But let me get my cell phone because I want to tell you exactly what she said because it was so good. And I use this technique all day long today and it really made a big difference in how I was feeling. And, and oh, here's something else. I, I've got this, all these little lists. And one thing says, spiritual journey, a change of feeling is a change of destiny. Ooh, I do like that. A change of feeling is a change of destiny. Oh, and Louise Hay also said, do your thoughts build you up or beat you up? And we don't want our thoughts to beat us up. Okay, let me get down here because that really wasn't what I was going to tell you. But I'm constantly kind of writing things down. Okay, she says... Basically, if you learn the law of thinking, miracles happen. If you learn the law of thinking, miracles happen. And she likened it to if you have a computer, but you don't know how it works, it's just going to be a mess and it's not going to help your life. But if you have a computer and you know the rules that make that computer work and how it functions its best, then all of a sudden the computer can create miracles in your life, really. And she says our thinking is exactly the same thing and that what we think about comes about. And I truly believe that that is the case. And I've seen it at different points in my life. I believe that the thoughts we think and the words we speak are hugely powerful. And in my second half, I really want to start following that law. And I think it is a law of the universe because I think our thoughts have energy that goes out into the world and our words also have energy. And basically what she said is, you know, a lot of people think affirmations don't work because they do them five or 10 times in the morning and then they go through the rest of the day affirming negative things, putting themselves down inside, worrying about things out loud, just being kind of negative. And that all of that stuff is really affirmations. So when she talks about affirmations and affirmations are very key to many of her ideas about what we should do to have a good and happy and successful life, she says affirmations are not just those little things you write down and say in the morning that all day long you're giving yourself affirmations, either positive or negative. And so what I did all day long is whenever I thought a thought that was a little negative, I tried to lean into something a little more positive. And she said something really good, which I loved, which is none of us are perfect. And today I was not perfect but I was a little bit better than I was the day before in, in, in terms of thinking positive thoughts. And she said, you know, if every day you concentrate on this and just get a little bit kinder to yourself, a little bit nicer to yourself, that over three or four months, look how much improved you'll be because thought is a habit. In fact, good attitude is really just a habit. I believe that entirely. And on my channel, I'm really going to be concentrating in terms of the spiritual stuff that I'm thinking about. I'm going to be concentrating first on learning to love myself more and not in an egotistical way, but it is true what the Bible says, love your neighbor as yourself, and it's key to love yourself. And I know in my first half, I didn't do that very well. I beat myself up a lot. I found myself falling short. I criticized myself. I do not want to do that anymore, and I hope that you don't either. So just for today, friends, as we go through our day, Every time we think a thought, let's realize the power that that thought has and let's make it a positive one. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.